September 22, 1989. Hurricane Hugo is bearing down on Charleston Naval Base with 150 mile per hour winds. While every surface ship fled to safety, one nuclear submarine found itself trapped at the dock with no way to escape. The USS Narwhal's commanding officer made a decision that could have ended his career. He ordered his crew to dive their submarine to the bottom of the Cooper River, using only battery power with their nuclear reactor shut down. This isn't just a story of courage under pressure. This is about the incredible skill and training that allows our submarine crews to handle the most dangerous conditions on Earth. When Hurricane Hugo's second wave hit Charleston, the Narwhal's crew sat calmly underwater, watching the storm rage above them through their periscope while 20-foot storm surges devastated the coastline. If you're proud of our submarine forces and their incredible capabilities, type proud in the comments. From the physics of wave penetration to the split-second decisions that save entire crews, you'll learn why submarines are humanity's ultimate storm-fighting machines. But first, let me tell you about a submarine captain who had to make an impossible choice 300 feet below a raging North Sea storm. Chapter 1. The Physics of Underwater Storms Here's something that will blow your mind. While surface ships are getting pounded by 40-foot waves, submarines just 50 meters down are so stable that crews can't even tell there's a storm happening above them. This isn't luck. This is pure physics working in favor of our underwater forces. Think about it this way. When you see those massive waves during a hurricane, you're only seeing half the story. Every wave has an equal amount of energy below the surface. But here's the key. That energy drops off dramatically with depth. A 30-foot wave that's destroying everything on the surface becomes almost nothing at 100 feet down. Our submarine crews understand this better than anyone. They've turned this natural phenomenon into their greatest tactical advantage. While enemy surface ships are fighting for their lives against the storm, American submarines are operating with surgical precision in the calm waters below. But here's where it gets really interesting. Navy veterans report that even at 300 feet down, they could still feel the effects of major storms. One former submariner described being off the coast of Norway during a state 7C. That's waves over 30 feet high. The submarine was rolling so much that the captain ordered them down to 400 feet just to keep the soup from spilling at dinner. This tells us something incredible about the power of nature, but also about the engineering excellence of American submarines. These vessels are built to handle conditions that would destroy any other ship. The hull strength, the ballast systems, the depth controls, everything is designed to turn violent storms into manageable situations. And that's just the beginning of what our submarine crews deal with. Wait until you hear about the training they go through to master these conditions. Chapter 2. Training Our Underwater Warriors The men and women who operate our submarines don't just happen to be good at handling storms, they're trained to perfection through some of the most demanding programs in the military. Every submariner goes through intensive simulation training that recreates the exact conditions they'll face during real storm operations. These aren't basic drills. We're talking about advanced simulation systems that can replicate everything from mild weather disturbances to Category 5 hurricanes. The crews practice diving procedures, depth management, and emergency protocols until their responses become automatic. When a real storm hits, they don't panic, they execute. Here's what makes American submarine training so special. Every crew member doesn't just learn their own job, they learn everyone else's job too. In a storm situation, if the navigation specialist gets injured, the sonar operator can step in. If the diving officer is incapacitated, the weapons specialist knows exactly what to do. This cross-training has saved countless lives during actual storm encounters. The training covers everything from basic storm avoidance to extreme emergency procedures. Crews learn how to handle situations where their submarine gets caught in shallow water during a storm, one of the most dangerous scenarios possible. They practice emergency surfacing procedures, backup power systems, and communication protocols that work even when conditions above are impossible. But perhaps most importantly, they learn judgment. Our submarine commanders are trained to make split-second decisions about depth, speed, and positioning that can mean the difference between riding out a storm safely and facing a catastrophic situation. One training exercise involves navigating through simulated storm conditions with less than six meters of clearance between the submarine's sail and the surface. Trainees must maintain precise depth control 
while dealing with the turbulence and pressure changes that come with violent weather. It's this level of preparation that allows our crews to handle real-world situations that would be impossible for anyone else. Chapter 3. Real Storm Encounters – Heroes Below the Waves Let me tell you about some real encounters that show just how incredible our submarine crews are. During the Cold War, American submarines regularly operated in the North Atlantic and North Pacific, two of the stormiest bodies of water on Earth. These weren't training exercises. These were real missions with real stakes. One declassified report describes a Los Angeles-class submarine that encountered a massive Pacific Typhoon while on patrol. The storm above was generating waves over 50 feet high with winds exceeding 120 miles per hour. Any surface vessel caught in that storm would have been in mortal danger. But our submarine crew simply adjusted their depth to 200 feet and continued their mission as if nothing was happening. The crew reported that at their operating depth, the submarine was so stable they could perform precision sonar operations and maintain perfect navigation. While the storm raged for three days above them, they completed their patrol objectives and returned to base without a single injury or equipment failure. Here's another incredible story. A Virginia-class submarine was conducting operations in the Norwegian Sea when they encountered what meteorologists later classified as a pumpkin cyclone, a storm so intense it rivaled a Category 4 hurricane. The surface conditions were so violent that rescue helicopters couldn't fly, and Coast Guard vessels had to seek shelter. Our submarine crew responded by diving to 350 feet and establishing what they called a storm station a specific depth and speed combination that maximized stability while maintaining operational capability. For 48 hours, they continued their mission while the storm devastated everything above them. When they finally surfaced after the storm passed, they found debris fields stretching for miles, but their submarine was completely undamaged. These stories aren't rare exceptions. They're examples of the everyday excellence of American submarine forces. Our crews have developed techniques for operating in storm conditions that other navies can only dream of. They've turned what should be a major operational limitation into just another challenge to overcome. But what really sets our submarine crews apart is how they handle the unexpected storm encounters, the ones that catch everyone by surprise. Chapter 4. Emergency Storm Procedures and Split-Second Decisions Sometimes storms develop faster than anyone can predict, and that's when our submarine crews really shine. The protocols they follow during emergency storm encounters are masterpieces of military planning and execution. When a submarine detects rapidly deteriorating weather conditions, the crew initiates what's called a storm dive protocol. This isn't just going underwater, it's a carefully choreographed sequence of actions that ensures the submarine reaches safe depth as quickly as possible while maintaining complete safety. First, they secure all surface equipment and verify watertight integrity throughout the boat. Then they begin what's called a controlled emergency descent, dropping to safe depth faster than normal diving procedures, but with multiple safety checks at every stage. The entire process takes less than five minutes from the first storm warning to reaching safe operating depth. But here's where it gets really impressive. During Hurricane Hugo, when the USS Narwhal was trapped at the dock, the commanding officer made a decision that showed the true skill of American submarine leadership. With their nuclear reactor offline and running on battery power only, he ordered an emergency dive in the middle of a river. This wasn't in the manual. There was no procedure for diving a nuclear submarine in a river during a hurricane with no main power. But the crew's training was so complete, their understanding of their submarine so thorough that they executed this impossible maneuver perfectly. They anchored on the river bottom with only their sail and masts visible above water riding out the storm in complete safety. The captain's decision could have ended his career if it had gone wrong. Instead, his quick thinking saved his submarine and crew, and he received an early promotion. This is the kind of leadership and expertise that defines American submarine forces. Our submarine crews also have procedures for handling multiple storm systems, unexpected depth changes due to storm surge, and even navigation during storms when GPS and communication systems are compromised. They're trained to operate independently for extended periods, making complex decisions without surface support. Chapter 5. Modern Technology Meets Ancient Storms Today's American submarines are equipped with technology that would seem like science fiction to earlier generations of submariners. 
advanced weather prediction systems, real-time ocean condition monitoring, and computer-assisted depth control have revolutionized how our crews handle storm operations. Modern submarines can receive detailed weather data while submerged, allowing crews to track storm development and plan their operations accordingly. They can predict storm paths, intensity changes, and optimal depths for different conditions with incredible accuracy. But here's what's really amazing. New navigation systems developed after the USS Connecticut collision have given our submarines the ability to map underwater terrain with perfect accuracy in just three seconds. This means our crews can avoid dangerous shallow areas during storms without manually checking charts or relying on potentially outdated information. The submarines themselves have also improved dramatically. Modern ballast systems allow for faster, more precise depth changes. Advanced hull designs provide better stability in turbulent conditions. And backup power systems ensure that even if main propulsion fails during a storm, the submarine can maintain life support and basic operations indefinitely. Our newest Virginia-class submarines have what's called a fly-by-wire control system, computer-assisted controls that help prevent accidents during challenging conditions like storm operations. This system was developed proactively by Navy engineers who recognized the similarities between submarine control and aviation systems. The fire suppression systems have also been upgraded. After lessons learned from the USS Miami incident, our submarines now have advanced systems that can pump over 800 gallons per minute into critical areas, buying crews additional time to control emergencies that might occur during storm operations. These technological advances don't replace the skill and training of our crews. They enhance it. Our submariners are still the most important factor in storm operations, but now they have tools that make their jobs safer and more effective than ever before. Chapter six, why submarines rule the storm. When you compare submarine storm capabilities to any other type of vessel, the superiority of our underwater forces becomes crystal clear. While aircraft carriers have to change course to avoid major storms, while destroyers and cruisers get pounded by massive waves, our submarines simply dive below the chaos and continue their missions. This capability gives America a massive strategic advantage. During major storm events that shut down all other naval operations, our submarine force remains fully operational. They can continue intelligence gathering, maintain patrol areas, and project power even when conditions above water are impossible. Think about what this means for national security. When hurricanes shut down air bases and force surface fleets to seek shelter, American submarines are still out there, still watching, still protecting our interests. It's like having a military force that's completely immune to some of nature's most powerful weapons. The economic value of this capability is enormous too. Commercial shipping gets disrupted for days or weeks during major storms, but submarine-supported operations can continue without interruption. Our submarine crews have protected critical underwater infrastructure during storms that would have made surface repairs impossible. But perhaps most importantly, the storm-handling capabilities of our submarine force serve as a deterrent to potential enemies. Other nations know that even their worst weather can't stop American submarines from operating in their waters. This psychological advantage is worth more than any weapon system. Our submarine crews represent the absolute pinnacle of naval expertise. They've mastered an environment that combines the technical challenges of underwater operations with the raw power of nature's worst storms. The fact that they make it look easy is a testament to their skill, their training, and the excellence of American naval engineering. These men and women don't just serve in submarines, they've conquered the ocean itself. When storms rage above them, they're not just surviving, they're thriving, continuing their missions with the calm professionalism that defines the United States Navy. Conclusion From the USS Narwhal diving in the Cooper River to survive Hurricane Hugo, to modern Virginia-class submarines operating through Pacific typhoons like their calm seas, our submarine crews have proven time and again that they're the masters of their domain. These aren't just military operations. They're demonstrations of human excellence, American engineering, and the unbreakable spirit of our naval forces. When the rest of the world runs from storms, our submariners dive toward them, turning nature's fury into just another day defending freedom. The next time you hear about a major storm disrupting naval operations around the world, remember that somewhere beneath those waves, American submarine crews are calmly going about their business, protecting our nation from the depths where storms can't reach them. 
If this opened your eyes to the incredible capabilities of our submarine force, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. These stories of American naval excellence deserve to be shared. Our submarine crews continue to set the standard for underwater operations worldwide, proving every day that beneath the waves, America rules supreme.